I see people using the word entitlement so freely these days. It's almost like using bro or cuz or, uh, you know, homie or even blood. They use the terms so loosely, man, and they really don't know the definition behind those terms, you know. And when I say you use entitlement, I mean just the way you come off. You can't be entitled to something that you don't put into because your brother or your sister or your mom or your homie or your cousins is out here grinding and putting in work and, and making this paper. That don't mean you entitled to it. You know what I'm saying? I can sit up and uh, hand you, hand you whatever you need, but then that ain't going to do nothing but put you in a position where you don't want to work for it. And I can't do that because didn't nobody do it for me. Everything that was done for me was out of hard love. You see what I'm saying? I wasn't entitled to nothing. You know what I'm saying? Even when I was locked down and motherfuckers was hustling on the yard for, for, for stamps, for caps, for zoom zooms and wham whams, I wasn't entitled to that. I had to get out there and get it myself. You see what I'm saying? I know to some of y'all that's a far out analogy, but it's true. You see what I'm saying? Stop trying to teach your kids entitlement and teach them to work for what they got to get. There's so many individuals out here, whether they black, whether they white, Mexican, whoever. A lot of these individuals out here, they not showing their kids how to make money. They just giving it to them. You see what I'm saying? They're not showing them how to get that car. They just giving it to them. They're not showing them how to get that apartment. They just paying the rent for them. You see what I'm saying? And then you wonder why when your kid gets older and he want to jump in your face and get mad because he feel like he's entitled to something, then you want to be like, what the fuck is you talking about? But you can't say that <clears throat> because all your life or all his life well, all your life too, pushing him to grow up, you've been giving him things. So, you know, entitlement, man, is a nasty word. The only time you entitled to something is like if you're in a marriage and you know, your wife or your husband dies and leaves you with this, then you entitled to that. You see what I'm saying? If you uh, retire after 25, 30 years at Chrysler or Ford or, you know, the post office or wherever, and you're supposed to collect your earnings, you entitled to that. But far as dipping in somebody else's pockets, you're not entitled to that. You know what I'm saying? Go out there and work for it. Go out there and work for it. I'm going to tell you up front, you're going to have some pitfalls. You're going to have some situations where you're going to fall and you're going to lose money and this and that. But that comes with life. That comes with growing up. You see what I'm saying? But if you work hard enough, you're going to be entitled because you worked hard for it. But if you're sitting on the sideline you know, mean mugging and hating on the next man because they got it, you're not entitled to that. And they're going to look at you like you're a fool. They're going to look at you like you lazy, a hater, all that. Entitlement is a nasty word to use, especially if you are a parent and you are um, taking care of a kid and giving this kid everything they want. 
pretty soon that word entitlement, it's going to come back to bite you in the ass. It's going to take a big wet bite out your ass. So, you know, stop using entitlement to pacify your children or individual or your homies or whoever. If motherfuckers don't understand that, then they shouldn't be around you. You see what I'm saying? They shouldn't be around you. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I got a niece who's doing very well in school right now. She's on her way to college. You know, I'm showing my age again. She's on her way to college. She's supposed to be she's one of the schools she's looking at is Spelman. Yeah, I'm proud of her. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm still not going to, you know, uh, use entitlement, you know, to push her. When I talk to her, I talk to her as real as I can talk to anybody. You know what I'm saying? You got to work hard for it. And she under, she understands that. So, you know, that's what it's about. You know. So be careful about that word entitlement, man. You know what I'm saying? Just because you got a son or a daughter and shit, that don't mean they entitled to what you have after you pass or whatever the case may be. If they didn't work hard or if they didn't show you that they deserved it, they're not entitled to it. And you may say, well, that's my that's my daughter, that's my son. Well, what the fuck that mean? That don't mean nothing. I got a lot of family. I got a, look, I got a lot of members in my family that's blood, but that don't mean they family. You see what I'm saying? So I'm I'm just, you know, dropping some jewels, that's all. You know. I mean, some people can take it how they want to take it. I'm just not no Joneses type nigga. I'm not, I don't run with the Joneses. I don't run with a pack, a crowd of individuals, you know what I'm saying, doing one thing, everybody following that one individual, just not that type of individual. I say what I want, say what I mean, and mean what I say. So it is what it is. Remember that word entitlement, man. That's an ugly-ass word. Salute.